you've done these evaluations. And um, unlike in this case, the evaluators can also fine tune the model, um, which hopefully will be the case in future models. Uh, would you open source that, the $10 billion model? Well, I mean, as long as it's helping us, then yeah. But would, would it like to $10 billion of R&D and then now it's like open source? For well, well, I think here's, I think, a question, which we'll, we'll have to evaluate this as, as time goes on too. But um, we have a long history of open sourcing software, right? We don't tend to open source our product, right? So it's not like we, we don't take like the code for Instagram and make it open source, but we take like a lot of the low level infrastructure and we make that open source, right? The the probably the biggest one in our history was Open Compute Project, where we took the designs for kind of all of our um, our servers and network switches and data centers and made it open source and ended up being super helpful because you know I mean a lot of people can design servers, but now like the industry standardized on our design, which meant that the supply chains basically all got built out around our design. The volumes went up, so it got cheaper for everyone and saved us billions of dollars. So awesome, right? Okay, so there's multiple ways where open source, I think, could be helpful for us. One is if people figure out how to run the models more cheaply, 